Welcome to the Richest Paintbrush. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the FAQ and what it means to people starting out in the hobby. But before we do that, here I have some hobby progress. Even before that, is I just wanted to talk a little bit about some heresy going on on my hobby desk. Heresy on my hobby desk. That's right. We have some Rubric Marines, which I have on my hobby desk. And now everybody who knows me knows that I'm a Space Wolf player, and this are, these are their nemesis here, but I have this box here, and there's a reason why I have sprue upon sprue of uh, Rubric Marines, and that is for my hobby progress. All right, so I finally finished the night, and this is why I'm wearing gloves. I finally finished the night, uh, Titan. There it is. Whoa. All right, done. Um, so this is going to be gone for the competition, for the painting competition at uh, the Capitol Palette. And there's some things going on in there. Um, but it is actually done. Uh, here's the back. A little bit of that. I'm handling it with gloves. So this way I don't uh, damage any paint or anything like that before it gets onto this base. But it is actually complete. So we're done with this guy right here, which I've been working on for months uh, now. And what a pleasure to work on. Uh, there was a lot of detail uh, love put into this. And it's pretty much done. Uh, I'll tidy up here and there uh, as I get closer to the competition. But the in, in overall composition is complete and um, couldn't be happier about how that turned out. All right, well, let's get back to the Rubric Marines. Now, the reason why I have Rubric Marines is because of the base. Now I have to really concentrate on creating a base to fit the scene of that Night Titan. So, um, in step the rubric marines on which I'm going to put in and uh, the idea is having some kind of dynamic action happening of a rubric marine seeing as end of days uh, while the night titan is kind of trudging through and saying next and I, mean, I think that's the I think that's the idea that might be the name of the piece itself next I don't know I'm still thinking about that um, but that is it for hobby progress. There was quite a bit uh, that I poured into to actually finish that Night Titan, and now I can take the gloves off, uh, finish that Night Titan, so this way I can move on to the steps of basing and then come back and cleaning up any bits of the Night Titan that I really want to um, as I progress and I get closer to the Capital Palette uh, painting competition that's coming up um, Labor Day weekend, actually. So there's that. So, um, this is going to be a quick episode. Um, so, I really wanted to talk a little bit about uh, FAQs and what they mean to me, someone who really rarely plays. Uh, I used to play uh, a bit, but, you know, life happens and, you know, you get busy and you just don't have time. Uh, but, you know, thankfully I have some time to paint. Uh, some people choose yoga to calm down and be peace with the universe. I choose painting small things. It makes me really calm and peaceful uh, and really brings like a really hectic day. Uh, it really brings me some joy and some peace to, to sit down and, and to think about something that's not all consuming like work and other responsibilities and actually having the time and the peace to be able to do something like that. Um, so, um, Let's get into the main topic of the day. The main topic of the day is uh, the FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions, just got released by Games Workshops. And, well, it's great that they're uh, really, really honing in on a lot of the details that are happening in the game and really getting feedback from a lot of people and really changing things up. And I love that they do that. And they should continue to do that, in my opinion. Uh, however, there are some people like new to you know the experience of, of GWs that are really not going to look at the, the FAQs because, well, they're just still learning and there's a lot to digest and a lot to, to put into practice and play. And they really don't know the game well enough to be able to say, okay, so I just got my codex and I just got my rule book and I just got all the information that I think I need and I'm going to start playing. What? I have to change my ideas about the game and I have to change my ideas about the game. And so many updates and so many uh, revisions is really great for the hobby, but it might be intimidating for someone who is kind of new to the game. 
And that's what I really wanted to say about the, the FAQ is that I really like the, 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 the way it's clean and the, how I understand it. But I really think that it might be intimidating to someone who is new in the hobby. Um, one spe specific thing that I really want to get into is bolter discipline um, and the firing target models within half weapon range. And they, they really had to clear up some of the things because a lot of people are, you know, abusive when it comes to some of the rules. They, they don't know what it is to do, so they abuse the rules, and I need GW to step in to fix the rules. So bol bolter discipline is a major thing that I was looking forward to uh, here in the FAQs. And, and you can imagine, with all the, uh, the Marines out there and all the bolters out there, this is hugely impacting uh, the game. So... You know, tactical restraint, uh, tactical reserves, and how people are deployed, how firing models don't count vertically when you're going over objects. There's a lot of things to go, and I, and I highly recommend that if you um, do play the game and you're fairly new, not brand new, but fairly new, that you should just take a look at the FAQ, and it's free to buy. You can download it for free. Uh, you can print them out, uh, no problem. Just uh, need to access to some kind of printer, um, and you can get them and really review uh, any kind of changes. And these are all feedback from people who actually play the game and, and do that quality control, who do that, um, do shape the game as you will. Um, so my biggest thing, going back to the issue that I have with it, and I, I think it's good for the hobby, but the issue that I have with it is newer players might get lost in all these FAQs. First, the big FAQ, and then they have FAQs coming out, and then they have, you know, chapter approved coming out, changing things. And it's just constantly in a level of changing. And just when you think you mastered something and you, you've gotten it, it changes on you. Like, don't have enough time to actually master said thing if you don't invest the time in it. Um, I want to mirror what uh, Vince Venturella said, that this hobby isn't something that is immediate, it is slow. I mean, if you're going to paint all your models uh, to formulate an army, um, then you're going to take a lot of time in order to do that. And by the time you finish the army, whether it, the units that you're painting are good in the meta right now, it might not be by the time you finish painting that unit. So... Um, that's why I always paint with my heart. In other words, I paint where I feel that a unit looks good to me and it's appealing to me and I get the peace and serenity of painting and letting the world slip away for a little bit while I, you know, make something that, you know, it doesn't have to do with, you know, day-to-day -day hecticness of life, but it has to do with just pure enjoyment and art for art's sake and creating things and, you know, having happiness right there, you know? Uh, so... So the thing about the FAQs that might be intimidating for new people and something that people, I believe, that people can do, um, or GW can do to help the situation, and I mentioned it once before, uh, really with the things that I'd like to change here in GW, and hopefully they are listening to the fact, is that you know they come out with rule books as well as codexes, or codices, that... Uh, are digital, which they have now, right? But here's the thing, that when a frequently asked questions or something that gets um, expounded upon, right, gets released or some notes have to change, replace this line with this line, that that could actually occur digitally. So if we download a digital rule book and we download a digital codex, right, and if there is an FAQ that actually replaces one line to another, and I'm going to go to here where the Space Wolves Codex got released, um, there was an entire page uh, with the Sagas of the Wolf that had to that had to be you know nixed. It was nerfed uh, almost immediately before it even got released publicly. There was already an errata out, so I have to go with my Codex and go with a sheet of paper saying, "Yeah, the the basis of my army, the <laughs> my leader units and the abilities that they have, well, they're not that anymore, and they've changed. So I'm gonna have to." I'm going to have to take out this piece of paper and, and change everything that, you know, it was just an oversight possibly or something that was in print. And, oh, no, that's the that's the different version that we printed. Oops, we already sent it to the printer. Okay, so we're going to have to come up with a PDF for everybody to download. And 
that's highly unnecessary, and I don't think that that needs to be something that we have to endure. I mean, as a Space Wolf player, I would love to have had uh, the digital download, right? And, and when they made those changes, that they could have actually changed them in the digital version of it. And then it shouldn't take too much longer. If they have to do a PDF with the changes, what is it, wh how hard would it be to be able to type those things in, in the regular Colex digital download? And that would mean that, you know, buying physical books is great, but owning a digital download would be incentivized because you'll get the newest FAQs. And if someone is new to the hobby, and they pick up the codex later on after FAQ'd, after they FAQ'd, after another FAQ, after another big FAQ comes over and, and they deliberate on certain things. What they're getting, what they're purchasing is the current book, the current rules set for the game. So there's this way there's there's not too much confusion going on saying, well, the book says this, but this FAQ nerfed it and it's this now and now it's going to change in like six months and you'll have something else. And when I say six months, it's because sometimes it takes that long to, to paint up all the units that you want in order to play the game. So, you know, there is that variance. So, I firmly believe, and I love the FAQs and what they do, and I'm not going to do a deep dive on the FAQs right here, right now, uh, because I'm still reading them and going through them, but I do want to say that thing about the FAQs. I wish that if we had digital downloads of the books that they're FAQing, uh, and it wouldn't take too much if they can update it, right? Um, and it's free. The PDFs are free as is. So, you know, there's, there's just that benefit of having that transition, incentivizing the digital downloads. Digital downloads are cheaper. Uh, production costs are less. Uh, you would have definitely, you know, improved the the gaming the gamer's life, I suppose, from people that are actually gaming using these pieces in their uh, tactical warfare, so to speak. So I believe that GW can actually do something right now that would make the game better for all of us. But tell me what you think. I want to know what you think about the FAQs. I'm gonna read them too by the time you comment down below. I should have read most if not all of it. And we can go back and forth about any rules that you didn't like, uh, that you did like within the FAQ. We could do a deep dive sort of together. Uh, but at the same time, I do also want to know what would you think? Do you think that Having core rule books as well as um, uh, codexes, you buy the digital download and have them upload, uh, have them update very much uh, like um, a battle scribe would update if new points were assigned. So that, that kind of thing, but uh, you're actually changing the lines and changing the actual book. Uh, do you think that would be helpful for everyone? Um, do you think GW should you know, actually start doing that? Um, and hopefully GW is listening to this and if you like the opinion, hopefully they take that advice and that would definitely incentivize me to get digital downloads where otherwise I wouldn't. All right. Well, if you like this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time on the Miniatures Paintbrush.